Serositius Dangui, also known as silver dollar vine, string of nickels or the string of coins is a very popular succulent plant native to Madagascar. And it is, well, rather odd. The round coin-like leaves grow on woody stems and ramble. But as the XD gets longer, it grows tendrils just like B, so it can attach itself to other plants, trees or structures in order to also grow upwards. When new branches shoot up, they are quite flexible but mature to a hard stem. The older the plant gets, the more tough the stem grows. The silver dollar vine can get pretty big. This one here is about 2.5 meters tall and still going. In the right climate, these plants can get massive. The silver dollar vine is not a difficult succulent to look after. It grows best in partial sun, under shade cloth or in bright shade. It will tolerate a full sun exposure as well, but I find it grows just a bit better in partial shade. XD will also be okay in a bright spot indoors, however, any new growth is likely to be very slow. It can be grown in frost-free gardens and will look fabulous if trained up a trellis or a structure. When left unsupported, new branches will ramble along the ground, climbing up other plants they come across. Because the branches tend to fall, XD can be grown in hanging baskets too. This succulent will grow well in pots, but if you want a good amount of new growth, do report yearly. XD is not a very fast growing plant in the first couple of years, but will pick up as it gets older. When grown in pots, succulent potting mix will get the best results. In the garden, XD can be planted directly into soil, but to help it along a bit, any potting mix should be mixed in with the garden soil to break it up and help the roots establish. In my experience, XD will tolerate being overwatered and rained on when grown outdoors, as long as the potting mix is well draining, the pot has holes and it grows in a bright spot. If indoors or under cover, water when the potting mix dries up from previous watering. This succulent is pretty drought tolerant and will go without water even for months. The silver dollar vine is not very frost tolerant and is likely to die when exposed to frost for too long. In climates with frosty and snowy winters, it may need to be brought indoors. On the other side of the spectrum, during heat waves, it is best to place XD in shade. The heat itself is unlikely to kill this plant, but direct sun exposure during a heat wave can. XD can easily be propagated from cuttings and seed. In my experience, leaf propagation is not possible with this succulent unless a part of the stem is present as well. The leaf will grow roots, but no other growth is likely to happen. To propagate cuttings, choose a mature stem that has hardened. This stem I'm holding is way too young to propagate. Soft stems and new growth can have trouble growing well and establishing. Leaves on a mature branch will be nice and plump and darker green in color. We're going to chop off this stem and divide it into two. It can be divided more, even into one leaf segments, however, bigger bits establish better. After taking cuttings, leave in a bright but shaded spot for at least 24 hours so the wound created by the cut has a chance to dry. This will prevent any disease or bacteria getting into the cutting. The cuttings should be planted into succulent pudding mix and left to establish. It can take anywhere from two weeks to a bit over a month for roots to appear. The ideal time to propagate XD is spring, but summer and early autumn will work as well. In winter, the cuttings are unlikely to send roots until spring and can die before they get the chance. More than one cutting can be placed into one pot for faster results. It may take up to a year before new branches start growing from the cuttings. The silver dollar vine is fairly pest-free and the usual suspects such as aphids and mealybugs tend to leave this plant alone. When left in the same pot for too long, root mealybugs can however settle in. Snails, slugs and caterpillars also sometimes take chunks out of young leaves, but if you have tastier plants around, XD is likely going to be spared.
It's hard to say whether XD is toxic as some sources say it is mildly toxic while others claim it is not at all. In ambiguous cases like this, it is best to exercise some caution if you have young kids or plant nibbling pets. A spot on a tall shelf should do the trick. And that's it for today. If you have anything to add or would like to ask a question, you can leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer. To learn more about succulents, you can hit the subscribe button or go to succulentgrowingtips.com. I also grow Zerozitius dangui in my nursery and sell them online in Australia. If you'd like to buy some, you can go to fernfarmplants.com.au. Thank you very much for watching.